fibula, a few other things. And you don't find articulated small stuff. Collecting good specimens and finding good identifiable specimens is always difficult. So one of the things that we do is we use old field photographs um, and some of the general uh, locality descriptions uh, to try to find these old quarry sites and put them back in their proper geological context. And last year, Wendy Sloboda and I, we got the legal land description, which is about a square kilometer for the, the site, which is all they really recorded back in the you know, 20s, 30s, 40s uh, from Sternberg. And we took one of his old photographs and uh, we printed it out and I put mine on my iPhone. And we walked around the Badlands trying to match up the particular Badlands scenery with that in the photo. And uh, this is the uh, site where we actually succeeded in matching the photo. What is it? They just put some pieces of dinosaur bone. Can you tell by looking what it might be? Nope. Plant eater, probably. Maybe duck bill, maybe ceratopsian. Is that rib? Yeah, it looks like a rib. It's got this. Yeah, it's got that. Yeah, it definitely looks like a rib. And this looks like... It's Champsosaur. Champsosaur skull. So you can see that's a articulating surface for another bone that joins on there. And it's got a rough sculpturing here. And that's the edge of one of the holes of the skull. This is a piece of tendon from probably a duckbill or a horned dinosaur, but it has these small marks that cut across the bone grain, and that's a very good indication of a predation. It's tooth marks from a meat-eating dinosaur as it sort of tried to get as much as it could off of the, off of the bones. Is there any way we can tell if it's scavenging or predation? No, there's no way you can tell. In some cases where you have the, the wounds that are rehealed, that would suggest that the animal was attacked when it was alive. We have very few instances of that. By far the most common uh, type of sort of feeding trace we get is, uh, is tooth mark bone. And it's hard to tell whether the animal killed that animal to eat it or whether it found the carcass on the ground. 